Welcome to this week's episode of Taco Tuesday. I'm Staff, and on this episode, we take you to Los Tornillos, right there on University Ave. It's a family-oriented truck stop that I think you'll like. I enjoyed it, so come along with me as we go take a look at what makes this taco stand so special. Welcome back to Taco Tuesdays. I'm here at Los Tornillos. I'm Stafford. I'm here with Raul, co-owner of Los Tornillos here in Edinburgh. We're right on the corner. Tell me the address again. It's 3901 West University Drive. 3901 West University Drive, right here in the middle of Edinburgh, Texas. If you're in your neighborhood, come down. You, you won't be disappointed. No, Raul. You'll be surprised. <laughs> I have to tell, I have the first question right oh. off the bat. Los Tornillos. <laughs> Where did you get the name uh, from? My wife said, Papi, what are you going to call it? I said, man, I don't know. I don't want to call it. You know, my name is Raul, so uh, Raul Taco. I mean, I don't know. I, I wasn't too. But then I figured out something where I'm missing this crew, you know, somewhere or another. So I said, you know what? This is what makes me hope. This is what makes me, me, uh, my missing crew, you know. So we call it Los Tornillos. It's my missing crew, brother. <laughs> You said that you've been here how long? Uh, well, November 21st is going to be our second year. Second we're year. Going, we're going, uh, yes. Two years here already. Yeah. So, but how long have you been in the taco business? Uh, oh, my whole life, brother. Okay. I, I've been making tacos since I can walk. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we were little, uh, there's a church by my house where my grandma used to take us all the time. And uh, they sell plates every weekend. So of course, Raul had a volunteer to go sell ta uh, plates because, you know, they was going to get a free plate at the end of the day anyways. So that's where my passion where food came along and man, we sold tacos, we sold anything at church. So yeah, that's where my passion really grew and, and my, my passion for food and tacos came about. Oh, fantastic. So I got another question for you, Al. So I see your menu, it's vast, right? <laughs> and it's almost like the space that you have here. You got an outside food truck, but you're a little different. You got an outside food truck and you have an inside eater. Yes, and we actually got a third, uh, a third option for you. Uh, you guys have to keep in mind that when we first opened, it was just in the middle of the pandemic. We weren't going to even open, but we said, okay, we, we don't give it a shot. We are going to close our doors even before we give, you know, give ourselves a chance. So we said, okay, screw it. Let's, let's open. So we started out here. Uh, we had the dining area already ready, but we didn't, it was no gathering or anything like that. So we said, you know what, let's stick out, out here. So we started doing the lanes. We started in one lane, two lanes, and then people come. You come in, you drive up to the lane one two three whatever it is uh we come to you we come to you we ask you what you want you can come in pajamas you can come in in a dress you don't want to get down you don't have to get down you got us to do that I like that's that. our job yes tacos yes, yes. and your chonies you're yeah, right who could beat uh, and, that and also if you want to uh you can in, uh, out here and in your car if you want we got all the setup for you we will we'll set up every, we'll set you up for success in your car not to make a mess in your car Okay, we'll have all your salsas, everything with napkins and everything you need. Now, please don't get the mamalona dirty. Yes, eventually, our goal is to get uh, some tables out here and everything, but you already know we're in Texas. Yes. So it's going to take us a little bit to get this heat a little bit under control. It's just it's a lot of heat. But don't worry about that. We got our dining area. You can take it to go. You can eat in your car. You have a romantic day out here, brother. We'll, we'll host you. We'll take care of you guys for real. For sure. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes, sir. I see you got a vast menu, right? Yes. I've been to a lot of taco trucks. I've been to a lot of taquerias. And I've seen, you know, when you go to a certain spaces, they got one, maybe two items on it. They got the beef steak and they got maybe <laughs> pollo. And that's it. I'm looking at your menu. It's bang, yeah. bang, 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 well, bang, bang. So tell me, if you, when people come, what's the most ordered, the most ordered item on the entire <laughs> menu? Look, I'll tell you two things. I tell you what they order the most, okay. and I'll tell you my favorite. Okay. Uh, we got the tornillo. The tornillo is our, one of our signature dishes. It's a 12-inch tortilla. It's a big taco, guys. If you want, you you feel like hungry on Tuesday taco, you come down here, you get a tornillo, and you ain't going to finish it. I'm going to tell you that. Unless you're a man like me. <laughs> and sometimes I even struggle with that. <laughs> so we started off with the 12-inch tortilla, a flour tortilla, of course. 
and guacamole, melted mozzarella, your choice of meat. What do I mean by your choice of meat? You get to choose your own meat. Uh, you get to choose from your, for your taco, pastor, carne asada, chicken fajita, fajita. You can ch choose a deshebrada, uh, arabe, which is a mixture of beef and lamb together. And we only use the lamb ribs. Uh, so it's, 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 it's the flavor that we're looking, the flavor profile that we are looking. Those are something to order that a lot of people don't know, and they're so good. A, carne, a costilla de carnero, uh, that's just lamb ribs. Uh, you can choose on any of those except the lamb ribs. Uh, it's, it's an extra charge. But any of those are carne asada, pastor, chicken fajita, deshebrada, barbacoa, beef fajita, bistec. Any of those meats you can order with your torneo and you can, you can eat it. So you can come one day, you can feel like eating a, a pastor taco or a big taco pastor. You, you have it. You want it with a fajita, we have it. You know, it's we, try, uh, we try to please everybody by having an extended menu, which came and bit me in the butt. I'm not going to even lie. It did. But you know what? I can't have a place where it took me 10 years of my life, um, you know, bringing it together where I'm only going to have two dishes. You ain't going to get to know me. You ain't going to get to know my, my, my place, my, my food, uh, what I love. Uh, and believe me, I got more dishes than this. It's just that uh, we can't project everything we want. Uh, we, you know, we can't project just everything you know in one place. Uh, it's, it's, it'll be a little crazy, believe me. If it's already crazy like that. Tell me your got, favorite, Raul. My favorite one is the uh, tacos a la plancha. Oh, yeah. There are four flour tortillas, uh, beans, a little piece of ham, uh, shredded beef, a mayo cheddar, American cheese, and a, uh, and, a, and a mozzarella. All that melt together into a taco. Now you're gonna get lettuce, tomato, pico de gallo, and sour cream on, uh, no, lettuce, a tomato, slices of avocado, and pico de gallo on the side. This is what I do. I get the pico de gallo, put it on the tacos, put the avocado slice onto it, put that green salsa, brother, you're set. You're good to go. I got to get those. Those are my favorite ones. I can eat them three, four times a week, and it will not get me. I got to get one of those before I leave here. <laughs> Definitely, brother. Get... What's the name of that again? Uh, tacos a la plancha. Tacos a la plancha. Yes. I got to get that before I leave, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Oh, and man. I'll show you as best I can how great it tastes They're as well. They're my babies. <laughs> so you come out here, and you, you order those. Oh, those are my babies. It took me years to perfect that. Uh, that this brother is it's a treaded beef. But now, when you, when you boil beef or you do anything with beef, uh, it's hard to impregnate uh, uh, flavor onto it when you boil it. It's easier to smoke it than to boil it, actually. Mm. Well, at least in my in, in my perspective. Uh, uh, it took me years, but as soon as when I got it done, and I remember trying the first taco that I really liked, man, oh man, I couldn't stop. And I said, that's why I want them to feel. That's what I want you guys to feel when you come down here and eat my food. Uh, check the, the passion. Uh, the, the, the work that is behind it, it's, it's a whole process, guys. It's not just tacos. Anybody can throw a taco together. Believe me, anybody can throw a taco together. You get a tortilla from any place, you put something in there, you call it a taco. But you have to have the passion to really have a taco that stands out. You know, there are a lot of our customer callers in, in the, at the hidden spot or this and that. Brother, I ain't going to be hidden for too long. I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> Hopefully not too much longer. No, 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 no. We are here to stay. We are here for the Edinburgh people. Before we open this place, uh, we're gonna open July 1st, uh, no, July 8th, and they, uh, July 1st, they stole the food truck. They dismantled it, they did, it was, it's, imagine guys having everything that you worked uh, uh, to accomplish and have it stolen from you in one day. Yeah. So yeah. that's what makes you who you are, setbacks, how you get back up and get adversity on you, you know? So that's what we're all about here, you know, I'm not scared. I'm more scared of the camera than anything, brother, you know? I ain't scared of this. Uh, this I love. When you do something with your passion, when you do something that you like to do, it's going to make a difference onto whatever it is. But you have to do it because you love it. I love it. Yes. I love your yes, story, yes, Raul. Yes. I love your story. Yeah. So like you said, like you, you've been here for two years plus. Right. There's a lot of taquerias. You can't drive down university without seeing a couple of taquerias in the next few feet, in the next few feet. So if all these taquerias on this street, all the taco trucks and all the taco stands here, what do you say makes yours <laughs> different than everybody uh, else? Why would you, Why should I not drive past you and like, stop I'm, right I'm, here? I'm going to make it real quick for you. Give it to me, Raul. Uh, I bet you none of them went to Mexico and spent five years of their lives in there. Just to learn cooking of the own people. I went back and I learned. I learned what my people were doing with their food, uh, how they can make a, this piece of beef that doesn't have even fat to work on. How did they make it tender? 
And, and, and it's all about just letting your meat rest. You know, letting meat do, do the seasoning, you know, the, let the seasoning do the job. And you give it the patience. And uh, you come here to Texas, and man, oh man, I can find choice, I can find prime, I can find anything I want. Man, I go crazy. And then you start applying those techniques onto those meats, and you really get something beautiful, man. Uh, it's something that you, you have to do. The only way to appreciate something like that is either two ways, with your with your nose or with your mouth, man, because it's something beautiful. It sure is. Certainly. That's what I say. You know, Certainly. don't believe me, you know, and everybody's different, but no. it is what it is. I believe you. I love your story. <laughs> this is why we're here, not just to eat tacos, but to hear what makes each taco truck special. Uh, you can go special. anywhere to eat taco, but every truck has a story. Every every owner is special. Every taco Give gets, it to, an opportunity. gets to your plate in, a spe in its own special way. Raul, thank you for letting oh. me come. Hey. I gotta have those tacos a la plancha Brother. right ahorita, I'm gonna, senor. I'm gonna go ahorita, in the kitchen. Senor. I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna show it to you guys. I'm not kidding you, brother. They, I'm even gonna warn you. They can become addictive. Okay. So, Perfect. so I'm giving you a heads up, brother. And then with the red salsa, guys, please. Everybody thinks uh, when we open here, they want it. Hey, we want a red salsa, but we want something spicy. I said, you guys can't handle it. So they keep on moving me. I said, you want something spicy? Yes, okay. So I gave him something spicy. You have to dab that salsa. No, no, no. It's not just spicy and you, you just go crazy. No, that's flavor. So you try that flavor, but you dab it, brother. Make sure because everybody's level is different. Don't try to <laughs> come here. I'm a big old man. Get that great salsa, man. Couldn't make you. I seen big old man cry. A little bit no, of no, beer. No, no, respect. <laughs> respect your salsas, brothers. <laughs> I respect the salsa. I respect the yes. salsa. Give well, us the we address at, one more time so 30. we know where we go. We know how to get here. Get the tacos a la plancha. Get the tornillos. Get all the tacos that we have here. Give us one more time. Where do we show up? At 3901 West University Drive in Edinburgh, Texas, 78539. We are right between Moonmont and North 10th Street on 107, guys. Uh, so North Edinburgh. And uh, we're here from 11 to 11 every day, Friday and Saturday until midnight. And then Sunday at 10 o'clock at night, we close. Fantastic. Yes, sir. I'm Stafford. This is Raul. Thank you for this. We're coming along on this episode of Taco Tuesday. We'll see you next week, guys. We'll see you, see you next week. <laughs>
and you can taste it. You can taste it in the you can taste it in the cheese. You can taste it in the salsa. You can taste it in the meat. Tortillas are fresh. You saw them. The tortillas come in today. Everything's done just for today. It's the better than better than Burger King, made to order. I got it. I had to get a tortilla as well. I had to get the tortillas as well. It's gigantic one. Son had one. So look at this thing. It's so big. It's on two plates. So big. It's on two plates. Let me get a taste of his tornillo. Oh, I need two hands for it. Chipotle. You can taste the chipotle sauce right away. Tenderness of the cheese as well. Mexican spices. Terrific. Never had a tornillo before. Huh? If you look at it, it just kind of looks like a, a quesadilla. Pero it's got a lot more seasoning, a lot more flavor to it than a normal quesadilla. Not just cheese, meat, and a tortilla. And a tortilla. It's got a lot of extra spices to it. The tortilla is definitely spiced to it as well. It's got a little flavor to it, not just a basic tortilla. Well, so far so good. I like, I like what I'm having. The boy, my boys had us a couple tacos as well. They had the, the beef steak, the fajita, the carne asada. Again, the menu was bad. You gotta come down and check it out. I like it. I think you'll like it too. <laughs> Are we ready for that red salsa, brother? <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We got the tacos. A la plancha. A la plancha. You better try that oh, red yeah, one. If not, it. they're not going to forgive yeah, you, brother. I gotta try hey, that I'll tell one. them to try the red one, I please. I'm going to try the red one. <laughs> All right, thanks so Thank you. Now. Brother, hopefully. <sighs> I'm going to have a cigarette now. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was fun, brother.